Hey, what's up guys? It's a art book addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. So today, we're going to be looking at Robotic Existentialism, the art of Eric Joyner, right? Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm going to be honest, I have no familiarity with uh, Eric Joyner or, or his work before seeing this book, right? Um, but, you know, I saw something that just compelled me to look at it, and... Uh, as a result, it was a great find, and I found um, a really great artist who does some really good work, dude, right? And it's all uh, in oil, which I love. Okay, that's, you, you, you guys know me, all right? Yeah, I love my traditional paintings, and this work is just, I don't know, it's just really, really nice. I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different than usual, right, you know, as always, you know, we're covering, like, anime shit, we're covering, uh, video game stuff, right, it's, it's like, it's all that's, you know, we, we're, you know, popular media, but, you know, as always, we want to keep things fresh, and, you know, I, I'd like to show, you know, some artists that, uh, maybe people don't really know about, right, I don't, I don't know if Eric Joyner is huge or not, but, either way, I like his work, and, uh, I'd like to show it to you guys, right, um, but before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, um, check out my prints and my Patreon in the link below if you want to support the channel. With all that said, well, yeah, with all that said, there you go. Um, let's get into this. <clears throat> all right, so we got some <clears throat> starting off strong with some uh, donut paintings. You know, very simple, very small, but oh, so delicious. Ooh. Here we go. All right, so <clears throat> um, I guess from this image you could kind of get an understanding of uh, what kind of images we're going to be looking at, right? It's basically going to be uh, a combination of food, uh, environments, and little toy robots, right? Um, and there's just something nice about the aesthetic. You know, these things all are all pleasing, and they're pleasing together. You know what I mean? There's uh, there's something to it. Yeah, I love. I love the, like, the background work is just fantastic, man. You know, I'm sure he went on location and uh, shot there. And it's just, and like, with these robots, I don't know, there's just something really, really nice to the aesthetic. You know what I mean? I just really enjoy it. I love the scale of this robot, too. And for some reason, the donuts falling into the interview, I don't know, this... It just works, you know what I mean? It just works, and like you think it wouldn't, but it totally does, man. And I really, really enjoy this. And like, goddamn, dude, look at the that nice, beautiful texture that that's coming through, right? Look at all, look at all those sprinkles, man. Like that's that's a really, really nice detail work right there. Wow. Yeah. So obviously, this is a man who enjoys. Uh, what he paints and paints what he enjoys, you know, because like it's just looking really nice. Here we go. Oh, so this is a dark horse book. Very nice. Yeah, I, I briefly looked through this, so I haven't really taken like a real detailed look. But um, wow, look at that painting. Very very nice. Wow, look at that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we got the tape of contents right there. We're just gonna go through here. Okay, so I assume that this is uh, Eric Joyner. Here we go. Some more robots. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into it. Man, I also love the um, the uh, what do you call it? The resolution that's in here. Because, like, uh, you know, I, <clears throat> as someone who needs to also take uh, photos of paintings, right? Um, if you don't have a good camera, your your painting is not going to look that good, right? But here we get to see all that great texture in there, and it's just it's just gorgeous, man. Look at that. Look at that. There's just I don't know. It's just. The, pleasing to the goddamn eye dude you know I, I just really enjoy these pieces right so this called this one's called uh, daydream 
Okay, this was made in 2011. We got your boy just sitting in the flower fields. You know, we got uh, the homie donut and the homie uh, cupcake right there. You know, just sitting there looking nice. It's just a nice, simple composition. Very nice, very, very pleasing. All right, country life. Look at that. I assume that this is just a small portion of another painting, so we're just gonna move forward. Wow. See, a lot of the time, right, if you have some great, uh, some great photos of some landscapes or, or nature, um, you could usually use that as a base for a great painting, right? So you just have like a picture of a, a of a really great landscape and you're like oh wow like um i really like to use this but there's like you know i'd like to add something more right and then you just add you know like something like this guy right here this little robot guy right um and this creates narrative this creates uh, a sense of originality as well right um and creates uh an aesthetic you know what i mean an aesthetic that so like, you know, this could be anything you want, right? Like as an artist, um, like this could be like uh, some some uh, ro like robotic animal, you know what I mean? This could be um, like some kind of toy car as well, you know what I mean? This could be like a anything you want could be placed right here, right? And it'll work because nature as a background is just always gorgeous, right? So if you guys, <clears throat> have some really really nice photos of some landscapes right and you're like oh well I like it but I want to I want to make this something more right um, you know whatever you want you could put in right and usually if the idea is good enough if your if your skill uh, works with the with what you want um, it, it's gonna work out it's gonna look great you know what I mean so it's a very simple formula that you know, I've used, many other artists have used, right? Where you just have um, a beautiful landscape, and then whatever, like this could be like a bionicle, you know what I mean? Like it could be anything the fuck, anything you want, right? And it's gonna work, right? It could be like a dinosaur, you know what I mean? It could be anything, dude. Um, but <clears throat> the beauty of nature is always present, okay? Always works, and will always work with whatever you want to put there. It's like, it could be donuts and food, right? Like, like this guy's putting in. Wow, look at that. Look at the colors right here. I love this, like, this pink that's, like, coming through, right? And then it, it balances with the pink of the robot guy. That's just gorgeous, man. Oh, I think he painted on wood as well. Hold on. No, it doesn't say. Yeah, 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 I can see the wood grain. Beautiful. Gorgeous work, dude. Gorgeous. I love the blues that are coming in. See how, like, this... Like, the, the, the purple, the, the pinks mixed with the blue and then kind of become, like, this slight purplish, right? That's just... That's beautiful, man. Wow. Morning light. Yup. Just, just ever so slightly coming in. Wow. Okay. False spring. Okay. Oh my god, I love I love that texture, man. Look at that. That's just some gorgeous texture work right there. Beautiful stuff right here. Oh my god, I love the abstraction that's happening right here. Look at that. Wow. That's such a simple field, and then when you zoom out, it's just it's all there, right? That's how you know a painting is made well, right? If you if you look closely at it, it just, you know, begins to fall apart and you see nothing but strokes, right? But from far away, it all makes sense, dude. It all fits, right? That's what you want out of a painting. Gorgeous, gorgeous work right here. Beautiful. I like how there's like this little bits of orange into it as well, bro, into that sky. Wow. Okay, let's take a look. The Ruse, okay. 
Um, I guess I guess the robot is uh, playing with this ape, you know, or uh, or, or Sasquatch, um, and uh, he, he's trying to like lure him in, or or vice versa. Maybe they're just playing around with each other, going like, "Ooh, I'm on this side of the tree," you know. They're just they're just doing a little hide and seek, right? But like, look at that texture. Wow, look at that blue. That <clears throat> that is fantastic right here. I love that that hit of teal over here and then over here. That's wow, that's just gorgeous, man. That is just beautiful. Okay. There you go. Best friends. Ooh. Listen, dude. Best friends don't hold hands like that. Okay. I guess maybe women do, you know, but like I, 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 I'm, I'm getting the implication that they are more than friends. All right. Wow, look at that, dude. Look at that texture. This is beautiful. Look at those leaves. Oh my god. That is just, that is just gorgeous, man. Wow. Yeah, he, he likes to paint things in just like little, you know, just, just working his way through. Yeah, see, because I, I would paint these more into like, you know, big blocks of shapes, but he likes to bring out every little, little, you know, just do little, you know, um, placing little dots everywhere, right? That's, but that's very, very nice. It creates such a beautiful effect. Wow. Oh, let's, come on. Oh, here we go. We got a robot um, working on a little donut machine, right, with a nice little uh, landscape in the background. Wow. See, it's it's <clears throat> not. See, the thing is, is not only do you get some beautiful um, natural shot shots, right, nature shots rather, um, because you get organic. Okay, you're painting organic when you're painting uh, natural stuff, right? Nature in general. Um, but when you can do mechanical stuff, right? Do very technical items as well. That it's just it's that much more impressive. Okay. Um, and then putting the two together, it's just it's a natural fit because there's that contrast between uh, something man-made, between something uh, what do you call it, natural, and something man-made, right? And then you get the little robot, which is the fun aspect. You know what I mean? And these little donuts, it just adds a little bit of fun to it. And it just works, man. It's just, wow. It just has a beautiful aesthetic. Beautiful. Wow, look at that. I love the subtle variations in color in the metal right here. You can see a little bit of that yellow coming in, right? Um, a little bit of purple from that sky that's kind of just bleeding into it. That's just fantastic, man. I bet he's got a whole bunch of these little toy robots just laying around, and then he just plays with the lighting. You know what I mean? Uh, this looks like a smaller piece. Yeah. But look at that, dude. That is just beautiful. That's just a gorgeous landscape. And then you add, you add a little robot, you know, and then it just adds character to it. You know what I mean? Wow. Beautiful. Oh. So this one's a full page one. Okay, summer afternoon. Yeah, look at that. Got a little robot doing a little reading. You know, got it's got some donuts right there. Gorgeous, dude. Gorgeous. Look at the look at the way the the trees get lost in the light right there that is just fantastic man wow and then you have like the purple shadows right here um working well with the purple of the box and the purple of the robot it's just like it creates a nice color grouping right but because of the contrast between the light and the shadow right here it also creates the focal point you know wow that is 
That's some good work right there. Okay. There we go. So we got this little tiny robot, you know, he's hanging out with the with a ducky. He just threw him uh, a donut. Okay, and I, I'm, I'm sure that the duck will definitely enjoy that. That's just, look at that ripple. That's a gorgeous ripple right there. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. Oh. Autumn leaves, okay. <clears throat> I guess he fishing for donuts, okay? They're right there, dude. I'd, I'd go fishing for them too if they were that big. Bro. Is that a Stormtrooper helmet? I think it is. Is that, like, allowed? It, sh it should be, right? Because if, like... If you paint your own thing... That's still, like... Yeah, copyright is... Yeah, they, it's it's still, like... You know, because you could make your own, like, Batman painting. Right? I mean, and still sell it, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's that should be fine. Uh, picnic. Beautiful. Look at that. Clink. I can hear the little clink. Look at that. I'm guessing this guy likes his picnics, right? You know, because uh, every single one of these, dude. A little bit of picnic. Yeah, I've been, I've been going out, uh, outdoors a lot more lately. And that's been feeling really nice. I've been visiting my local park, uh, like, almost every day. Just to embrace nature and... Um, it's really made me appreciate, you know, like, getting back into nature, you know, and just seeing, like, the beauty of it and, like, um, trying to capture it. So, <clears throat> I could feel that energy within, in these paintings, you know what I mean? Like, look at that blue, oh my god, dude, that is, ooh. Right, I like how he added this, this random green right here, too. That's just a nice touch. See the blue here? Um, is there to, you know, kind of help balance the blue here, right? Wow. I'll tell you guys, do paintings, they always look better, man. Always look better than, than any, than not, than like a, a digital finish, right? Wow. I was gonna say any digital painting because there's like a lot of great, beautiful digital paintings. So, um, you you, I prefer the finish of an oil painting, right? Because you get the texture, or right? you get that gorgeous, beautiful texture, which um, is uh, very difficult to get uh, with a digital media, right? Um, you can use Painter to kind of get it, but it's it doesn't. It just doesn't look as good, you know, at the end of the day. And I feel like uh, with uh, with oil painting, you, you can get away with having like these like super saturated colors because um, there's something natural feeling about oil paintings, you know. They're, they're, the 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 pigments that they're made of are like made of like actual like you know stuff, right? Um, like, for example, if there's like, um, there, there is this super rare oil paint, right? That's made from the, um, the shell of these certain, uh, snails, these sea snails, right? And they're, it's like, it's, they're very hard to find and, um, making like a little bit of pigment, uh, requires like a bunch of these snails, right? Um, but like. The look of the, the look of the oil paint is just gorgeous, man. And like, it's like a natural kind of beauty that comes from it, and it's made from the actual thing, right? And so the, those those um, those sea snail shell, uh, shells, right? Uh, they look beautiful in nature, right? They look beautiful in real life, right? So when you apply that to a painting. That same beauty is transferred over, okay? So it makes it so like it, you take that and you add all those other oil paints that are made from the pigments of other things, you know, like burnt umber and stuff like that. It's it's like these are real objects placed next to each other, but in paint form, right? Then you add you know the artistry, you add you know 
um, knowledge of like color and stuff and then like the result is just something that um, it just looks better than something that you make on a screen you know because it's made of these natural materials you know what I mean um, and some are not obviously you know but like you know there's just these little extra added elements that just uplift uh, traditional media Okay, and it's just fantastic, man. It's just really, really nice. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, I don't know why it's kind of like going to the right, but whatever. Hikers, okay. Oh, look at that. Looks like uh, they're, they're going up the trail, right? And then um, this guy is like waiting a bit, and she's like, you know, she's struggling a bit. She's like... He's like, come on, come on, get up, you know. Look at that, I got a little bit of donut right there, beautiful. You know, this work, this work really reminds me of um, Simon Stallenhog, right, and his paintings. Um, it's like, you know, it's nature, but with robots, except it's it's more like, uh, more realistic robots, I would say. Not less, less toy robot, more uh, like sci-fi, you know what I mean? I mean, this is pretty sci-fi, but... Um, sorry about that, uh, but you know what I'm talking about. There's, it's a, uh, they're not like, like 50s retro futuristic style. They're more, um, just like more, more traditional sci-fi, right? Uh, but like, you know, that aesthetic just works, you know, because it's the same idea, right? Where you take the natural and then you place the uh, man-made into it, right? It's the same thing as like. If there was like some cars right here, you know, it's just it's it's beautiful, right? But here we go, out fall outing. Okay, so um, I'm assuming we got like a a mooter with her child, right? Going out for you know having some donuts out out in the in the country. Look at that. That's I love how simple that barn is. You know. Like, you get some great detail, but at the same time, sometimes it's better just to leave something nice and simple that just works really well, you know? Because, like, I know, there's, like, almost every temptation to, like, touch up the building, but there's also, like, the... Like, if you touch it up too much, you could lose the freshness of it, okay? Right? And freshness is something that's very important to a painting, okay? Because it, it makes you feel like there was a call made, right, when um, someone's like, oh, that, I, I really like that. Should I, should, I, should I keep going with it? Or should I, should I keep, uh, should I touch it up a little bit, right? And the decision to not touch it up sometimes, and most of the times, is the better one, okay? Because you don't need to, you don't need this building to be that, you know, high level detail, right? You just need it to be just good enough to be readable, and then, um, because, you know, you're going to be focusing on these guys, right? So, the, the, the detail of this can be lost, right? Really, really nice. Okay. Uh, Red Guard. Damn. You shall not pass. Wow, look at that color, dude. Look at that. Look at that red. That red and green right here. It's fighting, it's like they're fighting each other, dude. And then like the, there's like the purple in the middle, right? Uh, we got the green robot here, you got the red robot here. It's, it's, it's a fight between green and red right now. Um, and I guess uh, the, the, the purples right here are kind of there to be the, um, the bridge between them, right? Between the, the, the warm and the cool, right? Really, really nice. And since like all these colors are placed everywhere, they um, they work in harmony with each other. That is just beautiful, beautiful. Oh, in the jungle! Welcome to the jungle. We got robots and donuts, and uh, deadly Venus flytraps. Beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. That is just fantastic, man. I love the way this nature kind of like fate recedes into the background. That is, wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. I actually just love it when you see good art, man. You know? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a joy that everyone has, right? But it's just... Like, when you're like, oh, damn, dude, that's, that's good, you know? Like, and that you have that feeling of, like, damn, bro, that's, like, there's so much talent out there. That's, like, I'm getting that feeling when I look at these paintings, dude. Wow. We got some indigenous people, right? And we got some, some tourists, I'm assuming. Um, and I guess they're, they're hunting donuts or something. We got this guy in this uh, beach shirt. That's really cool. Man, look at all these colors, man. Oh, and you have like these kind of like temples right here with the with a face on it. Got this man with his uh, his his little rabbit crown. Let's see. Never get, never get, never get out of the boat. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to mess with the locals. Okay, they're gonna fuck you up, dude. They're gonna take your donuts. Okay, but, but our donuts are everything to us. Exactly. So you don't get off the boat. Wow. You want to keep your desserts? You stay on this goddamn boat. Okay, entangled. Oh, now we're getting a little bit of uh. Some uh, toy, uh, some toy vehicles right here. Wow. Yeah, so I'm guessing that this uh, this this thing uh, made a little crash, right? And now it's it's old, and uh, some people have discovered it, right? This little astronaut guy that looks really really nice. Wow. I wonder how he shoots these. Like, does does he have the little robot toys, and then he like places it under certain lighting, you know? Or does he like take it out into the jungle, or, 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 or into the wild rather, and then he places them and then shoots them there? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really familiar with his work, so I don't really know his process, but I'd like to know. Look at that. Look at these donuts here. Gorgeous, dude. Yeah, I got, we, we got this cool robot that's got like all this overgrowth on it, right? And we got this new kind of like uh, Star Trek kind of spaceship coming in. A lost episode. Damn. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that Komodo dragon. Let's see. Lazy lizard. Yep. A little robot, you know, just just sitting there eating a eating a donut. Wow. Wow, that is that is just so gorgeous. Wow. I'm telling you, dude, the best kind of work. Is the work that makes you want to improve okay it's the work that makes you go damn dude i fucking i don't know shit dude you know i don't know shit about shit dude i don't know i like like i thought i knew how to paint dude you know and then you see work and you're like damn dude right um a lot of people they they have um there's two reactions basically to uh to good artwork right there is um admiration Right, which is what you want to feel, right? And inspiration, and there is uh, fear and um, what is it called? Uh, feeling like an imposter. Okay, right. Um, as you paint, as you draw, right? Um, I would say that when you see really, really good artwork, don't use that as a thing to put you down. Right? Don't use that as a thing to like make you like, oh, dude, bro, I fucking suck, dude. I, I I should just give up, you know? Right? That's the wrong way to think. Obviously, I mean, like, you know, that that it doesn't need, that obviously is said, right? But you know, it's very important to 
um, allow someone's work to inspire you, you know, to get you off your ass, to light the fire underneath your butt, right? Um, uh, it's better to feel encouraged by someone's good artwork than to be discouraged, right? And that's not an easy feeling to have, but understand that um, because someone else is good doesn't detract from your work, okay? Right? It's not like, oh, dude, their work is so good, dude. That means no one's gonna like my stuff. You know, that's not true, right? Your work will speak on its own, will have its own merits, but maybe you're just not as far far along as some other artists, right? Um, but it, the, the natural process is to grow, right? So maybe you'll grow to that point or maybe you'll, your work will grow into something that's completely different than the work you admire, right? And as a result, um, you can feel proud and feel like you stand on your own, right? And, you know, whether someone likes this work over someone else's work is becomes subjective, right? Um, most of the time, it's just skill that's the, the number one factor, right? Between whether someone feels about how, how they feel about the work, right? Um, but don't worry about it. You know, we're all, we're all growing. We're all on our little, we're all on our artist journey and we're all figuring it out, right? Some people just might be a little bit further along and uh, their work is their own and so is yours, right? Here we go. In the meadow, ooh. I like that, I like the donut, like, uh, scaling right here. You got one here, doop, doop, doop. And then like, you know, you could just see how big these donuts are, are actually, you know what I mean, right here. You got your little robot guy having a little read, you know, we got some elephants uh, coming out of the brush. That's a very nice sweeping shot right there. This, uh, dude, um, let's see. I was gonna say, is this guy humongous? And I was like, no, 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 he's just really close up because you can see the trees here and then the tree here. So the scaling must be, um, he just made, the, the, the elephant must just be far away. Okay, we got the trap right here. Let's see. Is it is it a trap for the dog or a trap for the monkey? Let's see. Why? Well, I, I, it has to be the dog, right? Because he's you know he's actually trapped. And the monkey's like, you want this cupcake? Huh? 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 No. And then he like eats it. He's like, you know, like a. And then he just like, he wails like a monkey dude, but in actuality, this is a trap for the monkey, right? Um, we, get, we got this robot looking in, right? And then the, he makes in the call, he's like, like, you know, the egg has reached the basket dude, right? And then the fucking, the net falls down from the, from the treetops and the, the monkey is captured, right? And then the dog comes over dude, stands over dude, and then grabs the cupcake and he's like, my cupcake, bitch. Damn. I've been watching um, a lot of Narcos Mexico, right? So I'm in I'm in that like uh, like police sting operation kind of thing in mood, you know what I mean? So Ooh. I like I like the the smile that this uh, this Venus flytrap is giving. It's like delicious. I love it. coming in that purple <sighs> wow god damn dude i need to put more colors in my painting dude yeah like, i feel like i already put a lot but like i could put more okay look at that i could put more yeah dude they're they're both getting a meal today I wonder where these were shot. I wonder where the photos for these were shot. Hmm. Like, did he go on a trip somewhere? You know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe he went to India. Because there's, like, you know, all these elephants here. Or maybe this is just some random environment that we don't even know about. 
Hmm. But yeah, we got a we got like some kind of oh jungle trek. Okay, so we got like a expedition crew right here. Right, we have uh, the elephant as the pack mule. Right. Yeah, we gotta keep these donuts for for uh, for later, dude. You know what I mean? <clears throat> wow. I like how this robot's got even he has even got a face, but it's like it's so well painted. You know, because it's. Like, it still reads from far away, right? Yeah, that, see, that, that portrait must be so tiny. But it's so well done. Wow. Dynamo. Ooh, we've reached the golden city of donuts. They say there's a legendary entrance filled to the brim with strawberry filled donuts. Covered. And strawberry jam. This sacred hollowed ground is the entrance to the golden city. Damn. Where the dynamo reigns supreme. The dynamo of donuts. Damn. This is World of Donuts. That's just gorgeous, man. That's just... That's just pleasure on top of pleasure, dude. Okay? The pleasure of nature, the pleasure of donuts, and the pleasure of this cool, mysterious building in the background. Okay, of architecture, I would say. Something more simple. Beautiful. Oh, shit, dude. All wrapped up. Yeah, so this is a this is more exciting painting. We got danger right here. Okay, I just I just imagine this uh, this robot coming in with the with the donut. You know, he's like he's like you want to eat something? Eat this, and, then, blah, and just like shoves it down down his throat, right? And this thing's like, ooh, delicious, you know? And then and then releases him. Where can you get more of those? Wow, beautiful composition too. Yeah, you have those like these these tree trunks in the background that lead to the to the face, right? You know, I mean, obviously we need we don't really need that since he's like just all red, you know, and um, that already leads our eye to to focus on it. But look at these scales, man! They're so like wow, that's so well painted, right? Because like from from afar you could feel the texture, and then up close you could. Um, see that it's just all these little minute little cracks painted in there right and then you just hit it with that little bit of that little bit of light that's just gorgeous man I wonder how big these paintings are because to have that level of detail you need like a big ass painting so I think that this might be one of the bigger ones definitely oh another one All wrapped up again. Let's see. Yeah, so I assume that he, he's like, he saw this painting. He's like, oh, I can, you know, I can make it better. You know what I mean? Um, but honestly, I prefer the first one. Yeah, I don't know. I guess with this one, he wanted to like simplify things and um, make it a little more colorful. Yeah, yeah, see, he didn't paint so many cracks in this one. But, um, either way, there's still both really gorgeous paintings. Wow, look at that. On Tiger Mountain. Wow. My eye, dude, my eye really goes to this orange guy right here. But, uh, he plays off well with the, uh, off the donuts. Beautiful. Molto bene. Yeah, I like to paint food, right, myself, so... Um, good food paintings are just... They just... They speak to me, man. Let's see. Let's 
honestly, the shit look like they fucking dude. You know, like, like you know, sh she getting it right, and there's this beautiful landscape right, and then the rainbow is like a, a metaphor for the for the oh, okay, and the, right here oh, right. I don't know if I'm I don't know if you guys are getting that, but I definitely am. Okay, right. And I don't know if that's the purpose of this painting, but uh maybe it is. Let's see. What's the Kazu's rainbow? Yeah. Is that what they call it these days? Oh. Want to want to get a little a hot shot of my rainbow? Oh. But yeah, gorgeous piece either way. Journey's End. Okay. Yeah. You know, this, um... What I've noticed is, uh... <clears throat> with most artists, they usually have a huge collection of, like, items that they really enjoy. Objects that they enjoy. And... You know, those objects, you know, that, that you love, right? Um... They could always be used later for a painting, right? And and so like you know, uh, he probably had like this a statue of this like little rabbit guy, right? And he's like, you know, dude, I want to use that for a painting. And then he just places it, you know, and then you know has the has the idea in his brain, right? But um, some of these objects, you could have hold up, you could have held on to them for like, you know, he could have held on to this rabbit for like twenty years, right? And then one day he's just like he just sees the rabbit. He's like, oh, perfect, dude. And then he's right there in the painting, dude. You know what I mean? Um, so as a result, artists have a huge collection of objects that they enjoy, right? And you know, if you guys are, you know, if you guys are doing painting as well, um, think about your objects. You know, think about the things that you have around you, the things about the things that you enjoy, right? Because that enjoyment um, that you have for that object um, will come through in the painting, you know. And um, so, yeah, think about think about the things around you. You know, maybe they could be used uh, for your paintings, right? That's a really good elephant. Damn, dude, the detail on that—that that is superb. Look at that. We have some. Uh, some Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cats, right? Or Voltron? I don't know. We got the robot guy, and just beautiful landscape, and this elephant right there. That's just really nice ambush. And you look at that. That he's he's ready with his gun. I just love these tiny little faces. That's so hard to do from from so small. Very nice. Heavy machinery. Okay. All right. So now we got a uh, we got some robots at work. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Yeah, I like that. I like how these ha they have these big vats of like just color right here. <clears throat> This guy, uh, he's coming out. You know, maybe he just went into the went out of the night shift, right? This is the morning shift coming in. Yeah, just robots at work. You know how it is. Gorgeous. Okay. Quality control. Like I like how um, you have like this ominous robot. You know, keeping an eye on the other robot. You know, so it's like, it's like, oh, he keeps an eye on the Dota's, making sure that they're good, right? But then you have the robot that uh, keeps the robot's quality control. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's, it's double level, right? Making sure that the quality of the employee is also good, right? There you go, sprinkler system. Ooh. We got a little donut factory, and here we got the, the guy coming in with the sprinkles. Wow. Nice. 
Dude, I love those gears, bro. Those are some beautiful gears. And you have this nice, like, that bluish teal in there. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Two robots. Looks like they're having a, maybe like a little argument. You're really grinding my gears, Jerry. I'm tired of your shit, Susan. I'm done. I'm out of here. Let's see. Pink Frost. I like this robot. I really like this robot. Pink Frosting. Okay. What does this machine do? I can't really see the, the function. Is it adding frosting? Or is it just like, oh, I love... He's like, oh, dude, I want this, dude. He's like drooling. Bro. That's how I feel right now about these donuts. I'm like, bro, just give me... Give me five of them, dude. Give me all of them, dude. Let's see. Purgatory. I guess this uh, this robot has just... Uh, he's, he's passed away or something. Or he's in a land where he doesn't know where he is, right? A land of cupcakes. Is is this what heaven looks like? Cupcakey goodness. Damn. This is where the souls of robots are judged. In the in the realm between realms, the land of the cupcakes. Where the <laughs> where the cupcakes fly high. Damn. And the streets are lined with frosting. Worker bot. He really likes this robot, dude. Because I see this robot in almost, like, every painting that he's done. So I think this is definitely one of his favorites right here. Wow. Look at those colorful pipes. See, I feel like, you know, like, see all these colors? Like, they're so... They're so rambunctious, right? But I feel like if you did the same thing with a... With a with a digital painting, it wouldn't look as good as as it does with this oil. You know what I mean? Like, like the colors wouldn't blend wouldn't blend as well, right? Because like you know, like obviously they 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 stand very far apart from each other, right? And they have a high contrast in terms of like the the, the temperature and like just like like oh this is green, oh this is you know they're, they're very separated, you know. Because it's an oil painting, right, and um, it's all under the same light, right? Like, cause like you know, an oil painting is an actual object, right? It's not like a it's not like a screen, which has like you know which which has like pixels and like light comes through that, right? Um, as a result, you can have ridiculous colors that shouldn't blend well with each other, shouldn't. Um, they shouldn't feel harmonious, rather, right? Um, they do with these because oil paintings are under their own light. They're under their own shadow, right? Because they're it's an object, and as a result, they work together. There's just something that just makes it work together, you know? Right? It's just uh, they're, they're all under the same light. They're all under the, their its own shadow. So um, as a result, the, the these these colors, which should be ridiculous and shouldn't blend together. They do perfectly fine, you know, and that's just that's only a result of um, doing something with with a traditional media, right? But look at this, dude. Look at like, like you got this, you know, kind of cool right here, and this this uh, you know a little bit of warm going down. But this yellow shouldn't work with this uh, with this painting. You know what I mean? It shouldn't like like on a on a on a technical level these these uh this bright yellow shouldn't shouldn't mesh well with the with this right but because it's an oil painting because it's done in a traditional media um it just it all works together because it's all under its own light it's un it's under its own shadow as an object you know what i mean so like you know it just works man it just works so well i like those kind of abstract shapes in the background too you just smoking the pipe right here, smoky. Okay. 
Ooh, plein air. I like how uh, you think he's painting the robot, but he's actually just painting a donut. Right? He's like, like <laughs> afterward, he's like, oh, let me see it, let me see it. And it's like, oh, I just painted the donut in your hand, dude. Sorry. He's like, oh. Oh. Uh, I, I thought you were painting all of me. No, dude. Sorry, just the donut. That's all I'm, uh, I'm interested in. Titanicus. Yeah, dude, he is, uh, he is a big boy. Look at that power grid. Yeah, see, like, this, this feels more like, like, what you would think when you see, like, a robot painting, right? You got, you got the mechanical with the mechanical. You got city, you got, um, like, uh, non-organic shape with non-organic shapes, you know? But... You know, with the uh, with the inclusion of nature, I feel like it, it really adds a, a nice element to the paintings, right? Here we go. A day in the life of a robot. Ooh. Movers and shakers. Let's see. This, like, for some reason, I saw this and I immediately thought of... Um, the, um, not carpetbaggers, uh, what is it, settlers, uh, oh my god, what is it called, the, um, the Pioneer West, you know, like, when, when they were, when they were moving out, when, like, people were getting paid to move out west, right, this is, this is American history, so if you guys don't know any American history, then you're not gonna know what I'm talking about, uh, but what, what the fuck were they called, um, Fuck. Shit. I'll remember later. But they're basically they're in in, um, in American history. There was a time where um, there's a lot of unsettled land, right? And so the government was paying people to take up that land, right? Um, fuck. What is it? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Ah, uh, whatever. It's okay. But it looks really fucking nice, man. Look at those. Look at that little detail right there. Look at the, the amount of detail you can put in such a small little thing. That is just gorgeous, man. Wow. I love the scale of it, too. Just shows you how many people are moving. <gasps> Pandora's box. Within these box are the Chaos Donuts. The Chaos Donuts? Yes. Be very careful. Do not touch them, for they are dangerous. They hold the forbidden knowledge, the truth of this universe. And then, like, it cuts to, like, hit this guy, like, eating a donut. He's like, what? <laughs> Uh, what? He's like, you fool! And then like, uh, he's like, don't worry, dude. It's just a. Do and then like, like, like the the, like his third eye opens, you know. And then he's like, ah! and he's like cursed forever, dude. Wow. That's just that's just a cool pain, dude. Sideshow. Dobots and Ronuts. Oh, Dobots and Ronuts. Okay. Come one, come all. Come and see these dessert robotics. We got a Twinkie bot. We got a we got a chocolate donut robot, and we have blueberry ra blue raspberry flavor. Wow. Look at the shadows here. That's just... That's just beautiful, man. See, a mark of, the mark of a good painting is that you your eyes just want to, like, look around and, like, discover things, you know? And I just... It, it almost gives me, um... Like, a... You know those I Spy books in the past? 
You know what I mean? Like when I was a kid, I used to love looking at those and just looking at all the little things like, oh dude, I never noticed this, I never noticed that. And these paintings give me that same kind of like childlike uh, wonder. You know what I mean? Just like, whoa, what's happening here? What's happening there? You know what I mean? That's just, wow. That's just fantastic. Centrifugal force. Look at that. This this Ferris wheel, that's a complex shape right here. That's that's a lot of different movie things. Dude, that's th honestly this is more impressive than like the, the actual thing that's going on right here, you know. Wow. Beautiful. Storm puddles. I love that he painted this, like, you know, this, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? Signage askew, right? Wow. I'm sure it must have been, like, a real object, but, like, that's still really, really well done. So much detail. That's just gorgeous, man. That's just some gorgeous stuff. The fairgrounds, okay. Look at that. Look at that. It's just such, it's such a... It's like a like a candy shop for the eyes, you know? I'm just like, ooh, I want to look at that. 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 You know, it's just... There's so much going on, and I just... I just love it, man. Oh, okay. We actually got some... Uh, some commentary. This is the largest painting I've ever created to date, measuring 13.5 by 7. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is 13.5 feet by 7 feet. Yeah, because otherwise, um, that wouldn't make sense because this, this there's no way that all this can fit on a 13 by 7 canvas. You know, this is like this is ridiculous. Yeah, so this this must be by feet. Beautiful. Okay, made, made up of four birch panels. The clients and friends David and Anna live in Madrid, Spain. They will be opening a very large gallery museum in Madrid very soon. I traveled to Europe for the first time so I could attend the installation and party for this painting and also saw many other museums and my friends and, and friends on the way. Wow. Very, very nice. Gorgeous. And you got, you got a trip up to Madrid out of it. Golf. You just bing. Swinging that shit out there. Beautiful. Gangster, transfixed. Eh, not much to say. Just some robot faces. Volleyball, dude. This guy, he's just—he's fucking spiking it. And like, I like how this guy—he's um, coming in for that hard defense. You know, you could feel the effort going through here. You know, and it, despite there being no people, you know. I like that he was able to capture that energy, and like even with the the little robot people, you know what I mean? That's fantastic. Nope. Wow! Look at that dude, haymaker. Boom! Dude, he just he just got rocked. You know, he just got he just got he got it in the chin, dude. You know, um, that just rocked his skull a bit. You know, and you could see the. The vibration coming off right here that he he wants to his head wants to pop off but you know he's not letting it dude wow this has such great energy I love this paint this is really really nice and I like the purple right and then there's the red versus blue and that just it works with boxing too you know because you have the red and the blue corner that's just wow that's just gorgeous that is just, that is some stellar work right there. And you get this little, you get the little paint splatter right here. That's just, wow, that is fantastic.
right jab, okay. Right jab, I guess he's a southpaw. I like how, I like how this robot's like, like, oh shit, dude, you know? Let's see, I, I'm assuming this guy is like, kind of like reeling from, uh, from getting hit, and now, now, uh, Red Rocker's coming in for, uh, for, uh, some, some real damage. Very nice. Rocking at Sharky's, okay. Yeah, so right, right now they're, they're in a clinch, you know, and he, he uh, Blue is coming in to, uh, to put in a couple, probably in the body, right? Very nice. Yeah, I, I like how there's a, there's a feeling of like knowledge of boxers and how they fight in this painting. Yeah, and also like how many fucking robots are there in here? That's just awesome, dude. That's just amazing. I wonder, like, does he have like, does he just have like like a big shelf just full of like little robots that he was like, oh, I want to put this one in. I want to put this one in. You know what I mean? Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous. Blues machine. Wow, look at that. This is his moment, dude. That guitar is really, really nice. Wow. These are some really nice paintings, man. These are just gorgeous. Alright, so now we got the writer. Alright. <clears throat> um, pretty self explanatory, you know, but I like the mood right here. You know, he's got his little got a little uh, whiskey right here, you know. He's uh he's filling finishing his novel, you know, in a nice outdoor environment. Right? There's a there's a nice mood to this. Yeah. Very nice. And you know we we get the obligatory obligatory donut right here, you know, because that's a that's a requirement at this point, right? Okay, ooh, the spaceman. I like this. I like this kind of jazz setup. Yeah, this is fucking this is badass. Wow. Yeah, there's something about. Um, painting musicians that like has such a has such a great appeal to it you know what I mean I don't know it's like it's like stacking art on top of itself I don't know it's it's weird right but like something about uh, painting musicians always always really feels great you know I feel like you could you could almost never do wrong uh, when you're painting like a musical instrument or just people you know doing uh doing music in general right like if you capture the energy of it it's it's always always gonna work really nice okay let's see spring cleaning okay i like how they have like the the slightly frustrated face on right here like uh, i gotta clean here you go little brother okay so I'm assuming that this is like the responsible brother, right? And then this is, or sister, I don't know. And then uh, the little brother, who is a little bit more rebellious, right? He's got a bunch of tattoos and shit. Wow. I like these like little fork hands he's got. Hold up. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Sickness. Damn. He's got some sick moves, dude. I think this is done. This is on wood. I think it's on wood. The textures. The textures different. I think this is definitely on wood. Oh wait. No. no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this has to be on wood. Okay. Alright, never mind. Ooh, by the sea. Very nice. I like this, I like this, uh, this, like, fish little guy right here. That's cool. Awesome, dude. Let's see. <clears throat> Surf's up. Oh my god, I love the texture on this one, bro. Look at that. Look at all these little dots right here. Dude, that's... That's fucking kick-ass, bro. Wow. This one's great. I really, I really, really enjoy this one. The lighting. The, uh... The colors going on right here. The composition. That's just great. Let's see, here we go. Uh, Surfer Joe. Let's see what's the difference. The second one's a little bit more brighter. Let's see, which one do I like more? I don't know. They're they're. Let's see. You know what? I think I like the first one more. I like the energy more of this one. Right, and the texture going on right here. This one, it's a, uh, it's a little bit more um, held back. You know, like in terms of like all the crazy texture going on. Like, see right here, right here. There's, there's a lot more texture right here. Maybe this is on canvas, right? Um, but they, I think they, they look like they're both made. In... Yeah, yeah. These are both wood. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, I guess he played down the texture on the second one. Yeah, this first one, there's 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 more there's more rawness to it, which I, I enjoy. <clears throat> yeah, but they're both good. They're both really good. Okay, lazy day. Oh wow. Oh, there's people here. Very nice. That's uh, is this the first time we've seen like humans? Yeah, we got the giant robot playing in the water. You know, like like oh that's that's my kid. Hold up, wait. There we go. <laughs> like, oh, look at our child. She's growing. Up, she's growing up so fast. Damn. Got some donut clouds. I really like that. I like these big splotches to the sky right here. That's that's gorgeous. Let's see. Dark cloud. Damn, dude. This uh. This bot, he's in a, he's very contemplative right now. He's, he's, uh, he's been through a lot, you know? And he's just taking his dog out, you know, for a walk. You know, he's like, oh, I usually feel better, right? But, like, you know, the dark clouds came in, right? And it just put his mood in the wrong way, and boom, dude. <laughs> now he's, uh, he's, he's just taking a moment, you know, to reflect, right? I like that. I like the mood of this one. Strangely human Davy Jones locker this is where toys come to die oh look they got little they got little toy guys right here that's cool I didn't notice that yeah this is a great one I like this one a lot that whale is that like a toy whale? It looks a little weird. I don't know, like... It looks like a fake whale, but maybe that's the point, you know? I don't know. This... This whale looks... This whale looks a little strange to me. Like, the mouth. It's the mouth that bothers me. Uh, but the rest of the paint looks great. Look, look at this turtle, dude. That's a... That's a great turtle. Great fish. Yeah. We have the sacred donut. Hidden away for a thousand years. The icon. Okay. Creeps from the deep. New Bionicle set. Each set sold separately. I miss Bionicle, man. I wonder if they have, like, a Bionicle art book, dude. That would be fucking badass, dude. Because they, they made so much shit for it, you know? <clears throat> this is a really nice illustration. I love this, like, seahorse. 
It almost looks like a like a waffle cone, you know? This is like a like a brass sea like uh seahorse or something. Wow, this is so cool. This this uh this statue reminds me of um of SpongeBob. You know, obviously because you know we're under sea, but like there's something about the shape right here that just reminds you of SpongeBob. We got this cool boat in the background, very nice, and then we have this uh another golden donut. The search for the golden donuts. Find all seven, and the universe shall be at your becking. Oh wow, I like this one. I like the contrast between this like gray, this gray, you know, foreground, you know, like overcast sky, and then like you have this really beautiful saturated ocean. And uh, you know, the boat is also extremely saturated, but that contrast is just, that's gorgeous, dude. That's gorgeous. Even the, even the donuts look sad, dude. They're like, oh dude, these donuts, dude, whatever. They're only a lot delicious. Here we go. Submerged. I I like this one a lot. This one. This one's a winner. <clears throat> okay. Uh, with submerged, I revisited a painting called the the co collator collator the collator, originally commissioned by MIT for an article about artificial intelligence. It was an homage to August Rodin's sculpture, The Thinker. In 2009, I submerged the statue. No interest was shown in the exhibit at Cincinnati, Cincinnati's Miller Gallery, and it, went to, went, ugh, and it went into storage. In late 2013, I got a call from represent, representative for a band called The Ben's Fold Five. They wanted to use it for a CD cover and other promotion for the reunion. They hadn't made a record together in 13 years. I liked their music so naturally, I said yes. It was cool to see Stephen Colbert holding my painting in in uh, LP form on his uh, comedy slash talk cable show. That's really cool, nice. That's cool. Yeah, this, this would make a really good uh, album cover too. Nice. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Okay. Oil change. Look at that. That's a that's a great car right there. That is a nice car. Nice. Oh, we got some we got some speedsters right here. They go on ham on their Vespas. They got their donuts in tow. Haste. This is so cool. Dark Rider. Badass, dude. Yeah, dude, I like this one. The second one is... This one's got it going. Yeah, I, lo I love the color on the second one. This one is, this one's, to me, the, the better one. Okay. Tandem. Okay. They're biking in tandem. And, you know, he, they, they got the big pedals for, for Mama, and they got the small pedals for the, for the kid. Very nice. Desert Riders. Damn, dude. This one's got a fucking mood, dude. <laughs> Boys, we heading out. Let's see. Morning ride. This one's nice. I like the I like the simplicity of the background. The escape. I wonder like okay, this video is getting long, so I'm, that's if if you're seeing why I'm speeding up, I'm I'm that's the reason why cuz uh this this video is getting pretty long, and you know my videos they're they're ultra long. But um, you know don't want to don't want to spend too much time on each image, right? 
This one's really fucking nice. I love the donuts in this one. I love right here, this one. The 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 twisty with the this kind of blue in the shadows. That's just gorgeous, dude. That's beautiful. Yeah, and this uh, it's a uh, donut Armageddon, donut Geddon, donut Geddon. I don't know. Moonrise. Yeah, just riding in the night. Nice. Southbound. This one's really nice. I like the train. I like the guy. I like the uh, the homesteaders. <gasps> That's what they were called, homesteaders. That that. Oh my god, dude. The 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 you know the one with all the people, all like a shit ton of robots, and they're all like heading west. You know. I was thinking of the homesteaders. That's what the fuck I was thinking of. There you go. See, I just say it unconsciously, and that's when I remember. Parting glance. Damn. I'll see you in a couple of years. Darling, you'll always beat my heart. I gotta work, honey. <laughs> I know. I know. Damn. Look at that sadness on his face, dude. I, I like how there's like that little moments of hesitation, like... <gasps> Damn. The train ride home. Are they, are, is this like, they're talking about the cupcake, you know? Or is there literally just a floating cupcake between them? You know? Is this like, like, love, you know, but like, with a cupcake? I don't know. I like the painting, but the cupcake, um, just right there in the middle is like, maybe that's the point? I don't know. It's a good painting, though. It's a good painting. Let's see, six engines. Ooh. Stacked up and ready to rock. Just like your mother. Oh. Clarksville. Oh yeah, the, the, the... Is this like an action scene? Like, there seems to be... Are these, like, bullets? Like, boop, 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 you know? Like, they're, you, they're shooting donuts, right? Or is this just like, Oh, dude, I gotta get the fuck out of this train, dude. This thing's gonna... This thing's about to drop. Either way, it's got a nice style to it. Engine 68. Or 688. Yeah, dude, this guy has to have, like, a whole bunch of these, like, little knickknacks and toys and stuff. Special delivery. Delicious ice cream. Watch children. Damn, dude. I said 30 minutes or less. But, 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 sir, there's a cliff. I said 30 minutes or less. Damn, dude. Man vs. Machine. Ooh. Oh, so there's a real human here. There's a real man. And then there's a guy right here. He's like, I got my donuts with me. These are my true fuel. Okay. <clears throat> the UFD. Let's see. Unidentified flying donut. Okay. There it is, right there. Why? Why is it floating? I didn't even notice that. I was just looking at the picture and then I noticed this thing just floating here. That's really nice. That's good. That's a good change of pace, you know, in terms of a uh, focal point. You know what I mean? Nice. Bro. Show off. Yeah, this is the one we saw before. I love the colors going on right here, you know? There's like green mixed with the red, mixed with the yellow. You know, that's just 
that color scheme is always going to work. Really nice. Come on. There we go. Rush hour. Yep, just a bunch of uh, toys lying in wait. We're just sitting here. We just sitting here. On the wait. Rocky Outpost. I like this, dude. I like the... I like the textures that's going on in the rocks. I recently went to... Um, the, uh, the Red Rocks. By, uh, by Vegas, right? Because my family wanted to go to Vegas, and we <clears throat> we went out to the Red Rocks, and the I took some really, really great pictures out there, right? This, it's basically um, similar to, like, the Grand Canyon, except not. It's, like, in, in terms of color, it's the same, but, like, the rock formations are a little bit different, right? But, you know, it's, like, you know, desert rocks, right? Um, but the landscapes were, were beautiful and ginormous. So hopefully those photos will be put to good use later. Very nice. Escape velocity. Wow, that almost looked like a 3D model. I was like, like the the little guys. Like the rest of it looks like a painting. But see, dude, so much better than a fucking. A, uh, a 3D object, right? Look at, this, look at that giant donut in the sky, dude. The donut in the sky keeps on turning. Look at this rocket surfer. <clears throat> I thought this was gonna be like uh, triumphant, you know? Look at that galaxy, dude. That is. Wow, that is gorgeous. You know, because you always see them in like the non-painted form. So I'm like, I, this is the first time I've seen it in like a really well done painted form. That is that is beautiful. And then from far away, you you can't even notice the strokes. That's that is that is fantastic, dude. Wow, home away from home. Gorgeous, dude. Molto bene. Wow. Space Patrol. <laughs> Luco. The X-25. This is cool. Again, he probably just has like a little prop right there, but this is very nice. I wonder if he talks about his process at all in this book wrong turn somewhere. Now I kind of want to, now I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, I want to get my hands on this book definitely now. Which I guess is the point of the channel, right? You know, you look at the book and you're like, bro, I want that dude. And then boom, you know, except uh, I get no sponsorship out of this, obviously. Maybe later, but for right now, obviously this is a uh, this is all underground, right? Beautiful. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder, if, like, who's gonna be the first one to 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 like you know if 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 this channel or sorry when this channel gets bigger, right? Um, I'm like, who's gonna be the first artist to to send me a book? Yeah, and like, here, here, review it, dude. Show it off. You know, because uh, that's that's honestly the kind of the point of the channel, right? To to get um, a platform for these art books, right? For people to to see it and to want to purchase it themselves, right? Yeah, but there's there's people who are like, you know, like, oh, dude, you can't show it, dude. Then they're not gonna want to buy it, dude. And I'm like, listen, dude. Uh, if, if you're someone who buys art books, um, I don't know about you guys, but I always want to preview it first. I want to see, like, if I, I want to see as many pages as I can so that when I know, so that I know that I'm, what I'm buying is good, right? 
So yeah, I've looked through many art books and I've, you know, I've purchased many art books. You know what I mean? I have like a stupid collection, so you don't tell me about like, oh dude, you know, these people are not going to want to buy it, dude. You know, and I'm like, bro, listen, I have an addiction, all right? Okay. So uh, don't tell me, don't tell the whales not to spend, bro. Okay. Not to, not, about how they view their art books. Okay. Birthday cake. It's just floating there, you know? And I like how they do like taking a little photo, you know? That's cute. And it's just floating there. Lake cake. This is good, but I feel like I uh, there should be more pink incorporated. You know, it just feels like it's just in the middle of nowhere. You know, I guess that's the point, right? But yeah, there should be more color harmony. Too many choices, dude. He's gonna blow his brains out, dude. D too many donuts. Too many choices. Must kill self. I'm sorry. This is, um, this is people when they reach the uh, front page of Netflix, you know, and they're like, oh, fuck, dude, I, I don't know, man, I don't know. Or like when my family, when they, when we're deciding what to eat for lunch, because nobody can fucking make a choice, dude. I don't know if that's a problem for anybody else, but, uh, that's definitely a problem for, for me. Like, oh, you know what, you want, you know what you want to eat? No, but I know I don't want the thing that you suggested. You know, I'm like, great, thank you. Here we go. Draconian ways. Damn. He was taken apart, dude. I like this newspaper aesthetic. Did he paint the newspapers? Or are these just kind of like, you know, uh, put in there? There's some stamps in there, so... Hmm... Oh shit, dude, he, he made the actual... Articles. Yeah, this is like a... This, this is kind of like a, uh... Like a horror story, you know? Or like a serial killer kind of thing. This is my only abstract painting thus far, and it was inspired by Richard uh, Diebenkorn. I mean, this is nice. This is not really... this. Okay, it is abstract, but... It's not like that, you know, the, the, what we typically think of abstract as. But it's nice. This is a nice piece. The chasm. <clears throat> There's a mountain between us. But there can only be one. And the donut's like, yes, brother. There can only be one. And they fucking like, <laughs> you know, the anime fight. Bro. Yeah, not regular fight. Anime fight, dude. You know what I'm talking about. If There's a difference. Here you go. Path to the Oracle. Oh, great donut, tell me, what is the future? The future is crippling debt. Oh, you shall never recover. All right, I'm out. I'm out. And this is this is them like like all right, all right, okay, thank you. You've you've added um, a lot of unnecessary stress. <laughs> you came to me. Motherfucker, I am the Oracle. Majesty. Look at that. Just a bot and his donut, dude. A bot and his faith. Amen, dude. Padre Donut. Okay. So we got Sweet Buddha, okay, oh so sweet, very nice, I like the, the climb he has to make to, to the Buddha, you know, 
This reminds me of um, of Naruto for some reason. You know, you remember when he's like he's a uh, he's trying to learn the um, what is it called the sage mode, right? And he has to like sit on top of all these rocks, like balancing. Yeah, that remind. This is what that reminds me of. Except it's donuts. Meeting place. Meet me. Under the the donut tree. Okay, look at that. Donuts on donuts on donuts on donuts. That's really nice. I like that aesthetic. And then you have the two figures. Damn. <clears throat> The invasion. Oh, is this like a is this like a kaiju donut right here? Even even the uh, even the giant robots are, are not big enough to face face off against it, dude. Damn. Landing party from the Midnight Collection. Dub edition. Nice. We've come with donuts. Bringer of war, damn. The invasion begins. They don't like our donuts? Well, fine! Then we'll just have to give it to them by force. Let's see, the great outdoors. <laughs> to that guy, he's just... He's just out there fucking getting fucked up, dude. Wow. Here we go. P pilgrimage study. Okay, so that's... I guess that's a preliminary for this one. Pilgrimage. This painting was inspired by the Bible story about the three wise men. I come bearing gifts, and they are donuts. All was not lost, damn. Apparently not, dude. Gorgeous. Lunchtime, yep. <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to eat this donut, dude. All these buildings in the way, dude. Everyone trying to blow me up. It was a dark and stormy night. I'm like, is is this guy hiding from the uh, from these UFOs, or is he like about to like pop out and like fuck them up, you know? I don't know, the, sto the story's up to you, right? That is a gorgeous sky, though. That is, that is wonderful. That is a wonderful sky. Let's see. Golden Gators. Yeah. Oh, dude, they're knocking off fucking cars. That's funny. That was my city, dude. And, uh... I hope the bridge collapses, bro. Here you go. The Searcher. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is, like, in the morning. Yeah, and he's, like, looking around. And then... This is, like, the afternoon. Still looking around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. It's like two two uh, paintings in one. Out in the real world. If the donut don't fit, we can't quit. Damn. What's what's the what's the is there is there a robot like Jimmy McGill, dude? Hell. Yeah, dude. Hell is a. Uh, just being so close to that donut dude, but you just you just can't. You just won't. Damn. 
thief. <laughs> the donut is mine! Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn it. I like that pattern. That's like, just paint, like a painted pattern. That's really nice. Oh. Is this one digital? No, 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 no. This is in, this must be in gouache. Yeah. Yeah, this is traditional. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah, this has to be gouache. Okay. See, this is what this is the difference between like an oil painting <coughs> and uh well, obviously this is a gouache, but I feel like digital paintings also look like this, right? Because they have um because their 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 tones are very like 100%, you know? Whereas like an oil painting there's there's a lot more um, mixing going on. There's a lot of uh, different colors that just uh, that play off one another, right? But something like something like digital, there everything has like a very like 100% quality about it in terms of like opacity, right? So it has that that gouache feeling, you know, and that's That's some that's like some of the difference you get with oil painting and, and digital, right? So Yeah, look at that Maria 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 She was a robot by the soccer trees Damn Growing up in Fukushima. Now I'm copyright strike. Good. Beautiful. I like it, but there's some. I feel like there's something off about her, like nose bridge thing. You know. I don't know. Or her neck. I don't know. There's something. There's something off, but it still looks great. That's a great painting. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. <coughs> Yep, I was there just, uh, last, like, was it last week? Yeah. Yeah, I was there just last week. Um, I don't like gambling, but, uh, I do like, uh, taking some good photos. Yeah, he even put the Mandalay Bay in the background, that's cool. Or, or the text from Mandalay Bay. Signage is annoying, dude. Okay, so, if you guys could do, if, like, making signage look good is, it takes a lot of work. Beautiful world. Oh, is he is he trying to do like the, like like catch you know trying to put the uh, donut on top of the needle you know like like whoop you know yeah like the ring toss. Very nice. Little genius. <gasps> Son, did did you did you make that donut? <laughs> yeah, mom. Jeffrey, I think our son might be a genius. Damn. Recapture. Damn. <laughs> I am not a robot, dude. That's funny. That's a good one. Wow. Midnight snack. Wait, but there's a Gambino right there. Careful. Friday night. Look at that, dude. I like this, dude. I like... <laughs> you know what I noticed? This guy has this fucking cigarette in his eye, dude. And I think... Hold on. I think that might be on purpose, too. That cigarette is, like, straight up in his eye, dude. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a like. Is that his thumb? Maybe. No, that's his nose. That's his nose. Like, yeah, this has to be his nose right here. Yeah. Is this his thumb or is this his nose? Either way, he has a cigarette in his eye. Yeah. <clears throat> it's definitely in his eye. Yeah, I like this. I like seeing this uh, great figure work with um 
with these robot toys. This is really nice. At the club. At the gentleman's club. This robot, he's, he's telling his story, dude. You know, his, uh, his swashbuckling tales as a man. Short fuse, damn. Now you wanna fuck with me, huh? Huh? You think you're so cool cause you're tall, you're big and tall, huh? Well take this! You know, and then... I don't know if he's getting hit or if he's just like, you know, dodging the hit. I like how there's like all these beer bottles and, and donuts around, you know? That's hilarious. We'll try on this for size. Ugh. Adela's dream. We're gonna hang you, we're gonna string you up just like these goddamn donuts. No! Is that, <laughs> is that Dracula? And, and Frankenstein? You know, it's funny because they look, <clears throat> they look so realistic that it's almost like out of place. You know what I mean? Like, don't they look like two... Two uh, pictures of, of like these things just pasted in, you know, and then just slightly, you know, like askewed. That's funny. That's funny. Look at that. See, from far away, it looks like like little like paper cutouts, you know. That's nice. Oh, hold on. Can I can I not zoom? Hold on. No, I can't zoom. I can't zoom. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh, there you go. Okay. No? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's just the loading. Okay, let it load. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. Oh. That second sneeze was, uh, was waiting for me. The lineup. <laughs> Each one of you stand there with a donut. The criminal was seen eating a donut. So we have our witness. He's like. She's like. That one! That one right there! He was eating a donut just like that! Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Disruption. What's going on here? Oh, is that a Dalek? Hey, dude. I like how they have square bites. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I guess he, he's just eating his donut, you know, and then this guy comes in, you know, with his Dalek, you know, and he's just like, Ugh, I was in the middle of eating right now? Come on. <laughs> South Pole Explorer. The runaways. Yo, we out of here. See, I like this kind of like crime drama mixed with uh, with these robots. Wow! <laughs> Look at this golden boy. <laughs> he's 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 he doesn't even know where he's at, dude. He doesn't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> the situation. Listen, Polly. You want to explain this? And then, like, they, they drop the donut. He's like, wait, what? The, I, I've never seen that in my life. You know, he has, like, sprinkles on his face. He's like, I, 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 you know, you know I would never eat a donut. Come on. John, Jim, Paul, come on, you know, you know me, you know me. Do we? Do we know you? Cause a man I know would never eat these fucking donuts! You're done. We got so much evidence to put you up, we can put you under the goddamn jail. No, no! Take him away. Damn. <clears throat> He's like, Thomas, 
I'm glad you brought this to I'm glad you brought this to us. I know it was hot. I know how close you and Polly were. It had to be it had to be done. The corruption in this place cannot stand. I agree. I agree. Tomorrow we make some big changes around here. Damn, the plot thickens. Detained. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nothing. Damn. <laughs> Look at that guy, dude. Street life. Magnolia Bakery. Nice. It's just everyday life. Blue Zeroid. Donut Trooper, okay. Very nice. The Emperor Norton Bridge. That's like a specific bridge, but yeah. This kind of looks like the bridge in SF because I, I I recently found out this guy he lives in SF, so I think I recognize that one. Bus stop. <clears throat> damn, dude, this guy makes a lot of paintings, dude. Tragedy. Damn. Oh damn. Oh wait wait. I thought it was like 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 he was trying to uh, catch up to this this uh, this guy, right? He's like, wait, wait, no! And, and then like he couldn't catch up; they're already gone. But maybe it's just the donut dropped on the floor, and he's like, no! That is a tragedy. Uncle Bob's stationary toys and luncheonette. Okay. From the collection of Chuck Lore. This was a commission. I was given a very old and small photo to work from. There were several children and bicycles in the foreground. I was asked to replace all the kids and most of the bikes with a lone robot. I added the bakery on the right side for some reason. Okay. Well, yeah, because it's you know, donuts. You got some donuts. Again, I feel like this this face is like a little too detailed for for this distance. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Here we go. <clears throat> Corner store. Grocery, cold meats, and donuts. <laughs> yeah, this has like a like an old San Francisco, maybe old New York vibe. <clears throat> Slow day. Wow, look at that texture on that shit, dude. This, this part right here, this is like, it's like bringing me in, you know? Like, honestly, this is like all I notice. Like, everything else is kind of like, you know, like, oh yeah, there's stuff there, but then this like weird, like wood grain, you know, like turpentine kind of like flowing out look. No one's gonna get what I'm saying, dude, because no one here oil paints, dude. Only... Only me. Only me. Oh. Everyone does digital now, including... Well, that's what I used to do, but I've made the switch. <coughs> Aaron Runners. Yep, they're just going out, grabbing their daily supply of donuts. Very important. You know how your father gets without his donuts? He, he, he beats me. <laughs> I know, honey. I know. That's why we're getting the donuts. So he doesn't beat you. There you go. Love blind. Damn. Is he simping? 
He's like, J Joanna, I, I just saw your poster on the on the thing, dude. I, I love you so much, dude. I wish, I hope one day that we can meet. Damn, he's a stan. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, bro. She doesn't even know your name. Robo Bros Bakery. <laughs> Chinese, just, just, just there, just Chinese. That's it. I know there's, there's obviously supposed to be more, but like, you know, it's just funny. Oh, look at those windows. These are nicely, nicely, very simple. I wonder if he projects the text, you know, because that's that's the that's the way a lot of people do um, do text like this. Yeah, so maybe could be it'd be a good way to solve a lot of my issues. But I I, I still I, I just straight up try to paint it, you know, which is very annoying. If anybody has uh, painted signage out there, you guys know what I mean. You know what a pain in the ass it is. Raven and the cloak. And the raven and the clock. Is that like the name of the place? Or is that just like, you know, they're there. They're in the, uh, does the raven have like his eyes on the on this box right here? Is that like, like the targeting system right there? Glunkin, <clears throat> Clunkin, Cafe and Bakery. Yeah, this is definitely uh, an SF street. I've I've seen this before. Lexington, yeah. Gelato, Delicatessen, Green Tank. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely an SF right here. <coughs> North Beach. Been there. Oh, I like how he's like shielding the donut. It's like, oh, dude. Oh my god. I was gonna say donut get wet, but that's I I I'm I don't have enough children to say to make that joke. Okay, even though I make dad jokes all fucking day, dude. Yeah. My my level of dad isn't high enough yet. Indecision. Which one will you choose? This one or this one? This one or 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 this one? This looks fabulous though. This is a really nice one. Gets me hungry, dude. Sunny day. I like this one. I really, I really like this one because it reminds me of like a, like an old Wiener Schnitzel I used to go to. You know what I mean? And then you you drive out and just grab some, or like like when I was a kid, like they we drive out and get some some chili dogs. You know what I mean? Or some corn dogs. Or those little little mini corn dogs. Oh my god, dude! Now I want to go to a Wiener Schnitzel, dude. I haven't been there in like years. Damn. When's the last time you've been to a Wiener Schnitzel? Leave it down in the comments. Nice. The lost and found. I like this, like the, the small robot into the slightly bigger robot into the slightly bigger robot, and then you have the family. Right there, you got the drunk right there. Oh, dude, that, this is SF, dude. Okay. You got a drunk homeless guy, that's how you know. Oh, are they looking for for the cat, you know? The cat's like up here. He's like, hmm, you can't find me. <clears throat> Italian bread and biscuits. The Suvio Bakery. 
collision course. Yeah, we have some uh, high traffic right here. You know, is, is this guy gonna hit, hit, gonna hit this guy? Or is this guy gonna hit this guy? You know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of traffic going through here. Zog's bread. Oh, is this that guy's, uh, you know, his, uh, bakery? Come on, come on, come see my bakery. This one's really nice. I love the mood of this one. And the, the shadow of the trees, that's, that's just gorgeous. <clears throat> Lawn mower. Yeah, dude, you got a lot of work ahead of you, bro. That's a, that is one, that is one big ass field. Life goes on. Yep. This is, uh. This is like New York or something. This is like New Jersey. I don't know. Yeah, this one. These, the, the, these garden ones don't feel like SF. Yeah, these feel more like New York, New Jersey. On the airwaves! <clears throat> I will have three donuts! Ah, ah, ah. I like the jelly ones because it feels like I'm sucking out blood. Or, sorry, scrape and lick. Okay. Which honestly feels more, more, uh, painful. First strike, damn. <clears throat> I just imagine like like uh, like Megatron is like taunting the fuck out of uh, out of Optimus, you know, being like, "You little bitch, dude, you ain't gonna, you, you can't even do shit, dude. You can't do this, you can't do that, right?" And then like the the bell rings, and then he immediately just, go, 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 you know, just boom, catches him right in the chin, dude, bro. Damn, I like the the Coliseum right here. This is really cool. Badass. <laughs> the witness. I saw it. I. <laughs> I saw the um. What's this called? What's this guy called? Um. His shoulder looks weird. What is it called? What is it? What is this guy called? Super Sentai? Super Sentai guy? No. Yeah, whatever. I saw this. I saw the Super Sentai guy fighting the uh, the Celestial Donut. Life before hamburgers. Damn. I'll gladly pay for one donut now, for two donuts on Tuesday, or what is it called? I'll I'll pay you tomorrow for a donut today. Mesmerized. <gasps> Yo, he a Trekkie? Yo, good taste, bro. Good taste. Oh wow, I really like this one. Here we go. The main course. We got this robot woman coming in with some donuts, right? We got the boys right here. You know. Damn. Mel's drive. <laughs> Wow, that's a, this, this is a, taken from Mel's Diner in SF, right? <clears throat> that's funny. Here we go. In 2011, I got a call from a publisher. I was one of the 100 artists they had chosen to a tribute painting for Star Wars, for Star Wars Visions, a coffee table art book. I was ple pleasantly surprised to learn that George Lucas himself uh, bought this painting for his collection. That's very, yeah, it's a nice fucking painting, dude. Yeah, a good job. Congrats, bro. Dinky Donuts. Robo Atlas. He's got the weight of the world on his, hand, on his shoulders. But that's the donut. Son, you gotta grow up one day, and you gotta learn that donuts 
are the world. They keep this world going around. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Get a little bit of a uh, little bit of background shit. Very nice. Let's see. So that's skateboard is that's that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty decent sized painting right there. Donut Redemption. Okay. The Red Dead Donut Redemption. It was 2006 when I got a call from writer and actor Greg Gun Grunberg. The first thing he said was like, Eric, I finally figured out how to place your work into my movie. I, re I read the script the next day. It was going to be a romantic comedy called Group Sex. Greg agreed to let me have a cameo. I could play a guy in a bathrobe at an orgy, or the donut company's executive assistants. I chose the latter. <laughs> yeah, cause like, he's like, listen dude, I like donuts. When I got on the set, an old furniture factory converted into a uh, part bachelor pad and part ad agency, I learned that the movie isn't that glamorous due to all the waiting around and multiple or learned that ma movie making isn't that glamorous due to all the waiting around and multiple takes. At the end of the day, the director asked me to draw a robot holding a donut so they could film it. The crew asked me, half jokingly, but but very adamantly, to draw an erect male sex organ instead, uh, as in a penis. Though I knew very well that what they looked like, I was very tired and worried about catching my flight home. I just drew the robot holding the donut. <laughs> I just do the I just do the robot. Nice. Wow. So this is that piece. Very nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Caught again. The Big Bang Theory, the American television sitcom, was created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Bradley. Used used a number of my paintings for their sets. Caught above again was shown in Leonard's back. To the, Ba bedroom, waiting ashore in the bathroom, and the final blow on the main set, taped to a door. The incident was just another just another day, and Jetel and Max were also featured on the set. I also got to meet some of the cast cast on set, including uh, Jim Parsons, Simon Helberg, and John uh, Galecki. Nice, dude. I wow, I didn't notice that those paintings were there. <clears throat> I don't really watch the show that much, so. But uh, it definitely fits uh, things that they would enjoy. Yeah. Maybe that's where I like saw it like unconsciously, it's because like you know, for some reason these these paintings looked a little familiar for some reason. Maybe I've seen them somewhere. Maybe it was a show. Maybe it was something else. Look at this. The 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 uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> a spaceman. Uh, what are these called? From um, creature from the Black Lagoon was that is that what I'm thinking of? He's looking for trouble. <laughs> Gay, Ga Gagenstein, Gangenstein. He's alive! Look at this fucking robot. He's alive! Everybody else is like, like oh shit! Dude. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> Do we have a right to play God? Oh, here's that one, Dracula. Eh, eh, eh. This donut is mine. Here we go. The mummy. <laughs> oh, hand me that donut. The first thing he reaches for. The Wolfman. <laughs> the Wolfman's like, get, get, get out of here, Lucy. You, you don't want to be here when I'm around. I might do something I regret. No, I'll, I'll never let you go. No, you don't. You don't. You know, and he and then he uh, transforms. Damn. And then rips rips him in half. The Exorcist. 
wow, without that title, it would have just been like a nice like picture of a guy traveling, and then like he said the Exorcist, and then I immediately heard that like piano music, you know. Wow. From the Exorcist, obviously. Pringles. He's like, oh yeah, dude. Me and Pringles, we got a thing going on. I don't know why I'm going to New Yorker today. Just, I don't know. Maybe because of those New York buildings. Oh! Yo! Yo, the, dude, this is... This is a little risque. Yo! Oh! Velveeta. Bro. Yo, this kind of dirty. This kind of lewd. Okay, this kind of... Ooh. Bro, this, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. This is such a good one. Here we go. Purchase these... Ga Gallery Daniel Megan purchased these two paintings for inclusion in Christie's Bande de Dessinée et Illustration. Paris, 2014 in 2015. I'm happy they made it profit. Yep, so, um, if you guys don't know, this is a reference to a Norman Rockwell painting, right? Which, uh, really, really cool. Really enjoy that. Yeah, this is like, you know, obviously it's, it's, it has Norman. This is like a self-portrait of Norman, right? But now with a robot. Really, really cool. That's nice. Village Cigars. The Connoisseurs. Hey, man, I know me a good cigar. Cigar. Comrades. Yep, so we got, um, fuck, what's her name? God damn it. I don't know. I, you, you guys know who it is. It's Rita. No, is it Rita? No, some, the, the girl with the, the unibrow. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, and here's the, the classic painting with the, uh, oh, so this, these two might be reference paintings right here. So this, yeah, this one's a reference to that, uh, that one painting in the bar. Ooh, the cat connection. All right, so we oh 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 what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Hold on. All right, don't don't know what caused that, but okay. <clears throat> the scout. All right, so we got this nice vast landscape with the one of the one of the Voltron cats. Very nice. Just trying to figure out where they're going, I guess. Fetch! I like how the, the, the cat looks so, like, ready, you know, to, to get it. Dude, that... Dude, the texture on those trees is... That's gorgeous. That's really, really nice. Wow. I gotta do more, like, pictalism. Or pic... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. With the little dots. I can do more of that. Melee. This is the same one. Yeah, this is the same painting as before. Maybe he added it on accident, or maybe it's a just another redone painting. Dapper donut. Come on, kitty. Eat the donut. Wow. What, you don't like donuts? Wow. Now he's like, I do like donuts now. Look at that cat, dude. It's funny because this cat feels like a cat, you know. Because when you know when they sit down on their asses like that, nice, love it. Frida, there we go. Frida Kahlo. This Frida, she's uh, smoking a cig, right? She got her her cat in tow, you know, looking like a gangster, dude. Very nice. Haircut. Oh. 
Very cute. Nice. Hello, Topiary. Topiary. Japan, LA. A, a shop and gallery in Los Angeles asked me to do something for the 50th, 50th anniversary of Sanrio Corporation, who owns Hello Kitty. This was a remarkable remarkable for several reasons, starting with the venue, the Santa Monica, Santa Monica Airport. There's a hangar there where they held the party. They had, they had installed a Ferris wheel, miniature golf course, red carpets for celebrities, food, and various other booths. I met and chatted with the president of Sanrio, who purchased the original painting. Limited edition prints were made as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's a, that's a really good painting. Ooh, this one too. Here we go. After the tragic 2011 Fukushima earthquake and tsunami, Japan LA held a charity fundraiser to ma raise money for the victims. Uh, Kuromi is the big topiary this time. Yeah. Well, still a nice painting, dude. Under uh, some uh, less than, you know, great uh, circumstances. A good year? Damn, dude, they're just sitting here by the vineyard with the cats. Look at that. That's, what a peaceful day. What a peaceful day. Look at that, so cute. It's a cute cat. His eyes look a little like wonky though. That's cute. I feel like he doesn't he doesn't really paint animals that much. Cause like there's a there's a certain wonkiness to, to the cats. Here we go. Mountain retreat study. Very nice. Catfish. It's a robot that's a fish that's also a cat. And we got our, our, our good old Kami uh, Komodo dragon there. Very nice. Oh. All systems go. He's ready. Meow. I'm ready. The gift. Ooh. I have a gift for you, cat. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you to all these humans. Alright, nice. Dark energy. I like how it's like, Thank you, dark energy. You know, like, <laughs> I, I, I give you this, this, uh, this, uh, unholy power. There you go, and now we have the back. Okay, very, very nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's find a good image on, and then we can enter the review portion. All right, this this is one of my favorite images, the Haymaker. I really enjoy this one, so we can use this one as our uh, ending image. All right, <clears throat> let us enter the review portion. So, <clears throat> um, as you can see, this is a really really great art book. You know, I think this would make a really fantastic like little coffee art book. You know, um, I looked online. The book is about twenty bucks right now, which is dirt cheap. Okay, especially for a um, the quality of the paintings that are being made, you know. Um, yeah, I, I was not familiar with Eric Joyner's work before this, but um, now that I am, I really enjoy it, you know, and I can see why people really enjoy his stuff, you know. Um, there's a nostalgic quality, there's that really great, that's just, you know, at the end of the day, just really great painting, you know. And, you know, you get the nature elements, you get the little, you know, uh, toy elements, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot here. There's a lot of great stuff here. Um, and a lot of great design work and passion put into these works, right? <clears throat> um, great stuff, man, great stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are interested in purchasing this book, I would highly recommend it. You know, I'm going to, um, I just looked it up on Amazon myself. I'm going to probably pick myself up a copy right now. Um, but yeah, dude, this book is so good. Uh, I really like the paintings here. They're just, it's just well done. It's just well made. And, you know, um, I'm a man who really appreciates, um, a well-executed art book. And this is definitely a well-executed art book, you know? 
um yeah not much else to say but you know go ahead and pick it up for yourselves guys you know if you guys enjoyed this work pick it up um if you didn't if you still just enjoyed his work go ahead and check him out you know um just look him up maybe you can find his instagram i didn't really look it up myself but <clears throat> yeah uh really really great art man this is some fantastic stuff you know um and this has got my you know my artistic blood pumping right which is what you want when you look at a bunch of great art right <laughs> yep <clears throat> highly recommended um i hope you guys enjoyed this art book i hope you guys enjoyed this uh review please uh, if you enjoyed this video hit that like hit that subscribe um leave a comment tell me how you guys feel about eric joiner's work right um ring that bell for notification check out my prints and patreon if you want to support the channel all that bullshit and i'll catch you guys on the next one Thanks a lot.